Hi, welcome back to the channel everybody. So today I'm going to do an install on a remote master disconnect kit. So go ahead and stay tuned and enjoy. Alright, the reason I am putting this in is because the track uh, states rules that if you relocate your battery out of the stock location, you have to have a kill switch running to the back of the car to turn off the car in case of uh, emergency. It's like a safety issue. So that's why I got to hook this up. And I'm going to show you guys on how to do this because there really isn't a lot of videos out there on how to do it. So let's jump into it. All right, so I got this bracket and we're gonna mount it right here on the frame. So basically how it works when it's up here, the main, the reason I'm putting it here is because my distribution block here is right here. So I'm gonna take this power wire that runs to my battery and put it on here. And then I'm gonna take another power wire and run it to here back to the distribution block. That makes it to where it cuts off the power. And I will also take the alternator wire and run it to here too. And that's pretty much it. Got the switch, got the hole drilled out, got the back side cut up like you seen earlier. So we'll go ahead and fit it in. Then we'll go ahead and put this on. I'm not gonna tighten it down too tight, just test fitting so it looks like that. And then when I want to put the switch on, I'm gonna want the switch to be up and down. So that when it clicks, oh shit. I'm gonna put the screw in first. So that when it clicks, it's up and down. Alright. Now I want it to click like that, up and down. So once I got it where I gotta get it, it'll click. Now once I tighten this down, it'll make it to where it don't spin, which I'll do right now. If I can find pliers. Don't wanna crank on it too much because it is plastic and it will crack. But you wanna make it snug enough to where the backside of it don't spin. Let's try that. So 
so we will be. But basically, that's what you're looking for. And it don't spin. There it is. That's what it looks like. All right, so this is what the final product should look like. Have an on off. Everything's functional. All good. Okay. All right, so she's back up and running. So this should um, be the end of the switch. I'm gonna show you guys right now that it works. Right now the car's running. I'll go in the back and hit that switch and it should cut the power. All right, so listen. Bam. There you go, so it works. Kills all the power. So, if you guys are looking to, wear, to do it this way, the switch is awesome. So yeah, everything worked. I do gotta uh, touch up on the TPS right now, it's running rough, um, wants to die. But other than that, that should be the end of this uh, switch video. And it should be my last DIY, unless I come across something else nobody's ever done like that. So yeah, I know a big shout out to uh, the, the switch on the back of the tail light was not my idea, it was Surge, Surge Garage. Um, go check out his video if you want to learn how to do that switch. But uh, yeah, so that continues to, uh, that, I'm done, it's over. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh, like, subscribe, and KL Day. Hopefully get this bad boy running sweet. Time for tune.